We know things in the world are very small, such as Richard Hammond's, Richard Hammond's penis and grapes. Um, but what I'm going to show you something today is very small, and it's this. Fiat 500C. Here it is. C obviously stands for convertible, um, but the Italians decided that this would be finished in a lovely duck egg blue, which is it's not even as cool as me. I mean, the Americans stupidly ruined it by putting chrome everywhere and white wall tires, but this isn't what Italian designer Dante Ghiagorza wanted. He wanted the basket on the back, he wanted the convertible vinyl roof, and, well, a tan leather. This is a city car because of how small it is, because it has three conventional doors and a convertible roof. But the best thing you need to know about this car is, well, it's got a Fortnum and Mason basket. Um, so in this uh, little carrier, you can put your Italian red wine, mozzarella cheese, pesto, and maybe some Italian football players can fit in there. Francis, I've seen you take a liking to the Italian heritage versus the Fiat's. This is one of the definitions of classic. Yeah, I... I'm, it's I'm pocket size. It's, it is, yeah. It's pocket size, James. I mean, I am used to sort of the Alfa Romeo, um, but as a, as, a, as a sibling of the uh, Italian manufacturers, it's, it's, it's not a bad car. It is, James, is it a sibling because it's equally unreliable? No, it's a sibling because it's equally beautiful. Is it a sibling because the leather is equally not leather? Mm, perhaps, yes. Um, I, I mean, as, as you know, Fiat have a tendency of um, almost cheapening their cars with plastics. They, they do, um, in fact. I mean, if you look at the interior viewers, you will see that these seats aren't actually leather. They are this almost vinyl look and touch to it. Um, but it, it's, it's not about that. It's about the beauty of the car. It's, it's, it's supposed to be a spectacle when you're looking at it, when it's driving down it the, the, the Riviera. It is. This is this is straw on your boot. Exactly. On your, on your rear engine, which is basically yeah. a Porsche. It's it's that's what you want. I mean, all you need is that, that little basket. Is all you need. Like like I said, package like having your cheese, having your hams, uh, even having your wines if, if if you're going on a, on an overnight trip. You would but want to you be need. you would want to be obese from eating so much Serrano ham if you're going to Naples and this or Portofino. The only problem with this though, uh, Jeremy, is that mm. it can only fit Hammond. Yes, that that it's about the size of a toy car. It is. It may as well be in a Hot, a hot Wheels box. Um, it couldn't even fit his dog in it. Might not even fit his ego into it as well. <laughs> James loved the Italian thoroughbred so much, I showed him the engine. Not only is it a very sweet car, but it's a very sweet way of opening the uh, bonnet as well. And there it is. How pocket sized. How amazing is that? 500cc. In such a small car in like this. In such a small car. And this was assembled in Torini. What's it, a 50, 57, 58? Uh, this would be the 57 model, mm -hmm. um, the L, and that stands for Lusso, which I believe, James, is um, what Ferrari have named one of their cars. Yes. So this has gone into a GTC4 Lusso, Ferrari. Can you imagine that? Something that's about five foot long has gone into something that's about nine foot long. I mean, it, it's a completely different engine though, Jeremy. It's a very, it's a very different engine. But James, you need to, you need to remember, this is just like a teddy bear. You just want to take it everywhere. You want to put it in your backpack and go on holiday and get it out and take pictures with it. Yes, but although it has some resemblance to the, to the Luso on the Ferrari side, you can't have a 500cc engine in a Ferrari. That, Can you imagine that? A 500cc engine in a Ferrari. That you wouldn't would get off the line. Literally stupendous. 
So, not only is it uh, as beautiful on the outside, it's also beautiful on the inside. So, you open the door simply, use this grab handle to help old people in. Oh, yeah. And you just feel like you should be in the 60s. Yeah. I feel like Marilyn Monroe in this thing. But there's one thing, James. This is a four speed manual. It is, yes. Do you know how bliss that is? I mean, you might struggle up hills, but. Um... Yes, that's very true. I, I mean, I was talking to the producers and now I know that it's left hand drive. Yeah, so Clarkson didn't realise that this car uh, was not a right-hand drive car, it was actually imported from uh, from Italy. Um, but I tell you, I, I have just noticed, I do stand yes. corrected, is these seats are actually leather. These are genuine leather. This is genuine leather. So... I'm shocked. Kurt Greiger would have said, yes, I'm going to brim that car with leather. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I think that they, it's, it's actually beautiful inside, it, but I feel like they could have spent more time on other things, such as the engine. I mean, um, that's very true, the engine. I mean, but one thing, James, you need to realise is you can just have a smoke. You can or, just look yeah. at the car. You can just look at the car and have a smoke. That's, that's how satisfying this car makes you feel. So we've talked a lot about the engine here, uh, Clarkson, but how do you actually start this? Well, James, it's as simple as picking up the unelectric key, putting it in the central ignition on the dashboard, turning it to G, and then you, well, you choke it. You what? You choke it. You choke the car? You literally choke the car. So you pull that up, and then you ignite. Um, ah, there, there might be one problem with it, uh, it doesn't ignite. So what you're saying here is the, the engine d d just can't start. Well, I think we should try it again. Yes. Choke up. We've got, uh, we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, um, so that's Italia, uh, summed up in three seconds. Well, as in you, you, you can choke it as much as you want, but it won't well, start. Well, that's, you that, can that. choke it, yep. but that's pretty much where you'll be in Italy. You'll be having the wine on top of the car because you can go nowhere. After strangling the car so much, it finally came back into life. Is it not this button here? There's no reverse on the car. What are we, how are we gonna move? Wait, it's four speed. So one, two, three, three. four. So it's reverse. It's like it reverses right over there. So we, we've managed to start it, but we can't actually move this. Where? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I need a spinal replacement. Oh, um, wow. What the? Uh, Jeremy? Yes. Yes. This yes. seat. What? James? It's, it's just popped forwards. Yes. That's for your friends to get in. What? And and you to get out through the windscreen. Well, yeah, this is this car is health and safety proven. It's health and safety proven is what it is really with the no seatbelts at the back. They were, okay, maybe they will be killed, but you two in the front will be fine because you do have seatbelts, which is Euro NCAP safety rating. Um, but also, that's just not it, James. We also have a mirror, which is apparently part of legal Britain's advice. 
so says the Mayor of London. Um, why well, I don't I don't see why you're confused. Well, I, about just, that, I just I just wouldn't feel very safe. That mixed in with the bumper at the front, or should I say, just a piece of metal there? Yes, but the Americans wanted you to be killed in a stylish way. That's why it's chrome. It's like all the other Fiat 500s ever, which is the new ones, um, are driven by complete morons. Uh, so we don't care if those get crumpled up. But these must stay in great condition. Plus, the, these don't have a Starbucks in the coffee holder, and they don't have nail varnish on the seats. Um, so on that terrible disappointment, James, it is time to end. Thank you very much for watching our uh, Italian, yet again, based episode. And see you next episode for a very, very special time. <laughs>